To get started with Ava, we're going to need to install it as a dev dependency. So we'll run npm install dash dash save dash dev Ava. And that will get added to our dev dependencies over here. Next, we'll want to add a script to our scripts in our package.json so that we can run the test using npm. If we look at how the project is set up, we have an app directory, and inside of there we have components, containers, and store, and each one of those has some components inside of them, and each of those have a test file associated with them. So with our scripts, we're going to tell Ava to use anything that ends in .test.js. Let's do this now by adding a test script that uses Ava, and then it will tell Ava to run anything that ends in star.test.js. This is a glob, and that will tell Ava to run all of the things that end in test.js. Before we run this script, let's go ahead and take a look at what each one of these has inside of it. So I already have a couple of tests that we're going to be writing inside of here that are uh, to-do tests, and uh, we're importing test from Ava. And with these to-do tests in place, if we go ahead and run npm run test, or pro tip npm test or npm t, all three of those will do the same thing. Ava will run all of our scripts that end in star.test.js, and it will get an output of 10 to do. So we have 10 tests that we have left to do. So that's how you get things set up initially for Ava testing. You have Ava as a dev dependency, and then you create a script that utilizes Ava and points Ava to the files that contain your tests.